Here's a review of the Lego Mail Van, which is set number 7820. This was one of the first 12 volt supplemental wagons to be released in 1980, and it was actually one of the only sets back then to use the longer wheelbase and bogies. Uh, I think it was originally designed to actually supplement the 7750, and that's what I'm currently doing right now. It makes for a very nice and very expensive mail train. This was eventually succeeded by the 7819, which is the covered postal wagon, I believe covered postal wagon, in 1983, and instead of just being in red, that was in red and yellow to complement the inner city passenger train, which is set number 7740, that color scheme. So you can use the 7819 plus the 7815 sleeper carriage uh, to make a very nice train with the 7740, but this is the 7820, which is just red and uh, can be used to supplement a number of 12 volt trains as either individual engines, or you can also put it at the end of any freight train that you want. So let's take a closer look at this mail van. This set has two main sections to it, which can be pretty easily seen by the divider in the, in the left hand side of the car here. And the two sections would be the, I guess the workers, uh, like office almost or seating compartment and then the other the other I don't know was that two-thirds of the car has the actual mail area so the it comes with two uh, goods pallets that have blue bricks instead of red on them like the 7730 does uh, and I believe that's supposed to represent like packages or bags of mail and then on the right side there's a yellow desk and the mail worker is working there right now um, it's overall a pretty simple set, but it's, it has very nice details. You can see they, they actually use the old, uh, one by four by six doors because the, the larger sliding doors were introduced in 1983. Again, the 7819 has those, I believe also the seven, the seven, 722 has those on its small mail car, but because this was released in 1980, they did not have access to those doors yet. It's the same thing as the 7730, where it has it uses these exact same types of doors for the boxcars. It does use the red train doors here though. And then at either end, there is a opening where you can get from car to car. And then the underside just has a standard undercarriage, same as the 7745 middle car, same as the Actually, most of the long wheelbase cars for 7740 and like 7819, 7815, um, even 7814, the crane wagon, I believe they all share the same base. And then it has just two very standard bogies for the longer wagons on there. And then the roofs are made with the standard three, three by four, uh, 33 degree slopes. And then just the same detailing as the 7740 cars on it. So it uses overall very similar techniques to other similar wagons of the time period of 7740 and uh, like 7745. And um, it's again, it's pretty simple. Has the doors in the end, has a couple of windows, but it is different because of these doors in the middle that open up to reveal the mail part inside. The set also has a standard box for supplemental wagons, which actually opens up, not like other other boxes, but it hinges up like this, which is a pretty cool feature. And it is large enough that you can actually store the completed model in here and close it like that, which I think I think that was very smart of Lego to design it like that. Actually, all of the supplemental wagon sets from 7810 to 7821 are designed in the same way. And I also have the instructions here. Mine aren't in great condition. I did have to repair a little bit with tape, um, but they do fold out. Fold out like this. 
And then the other side is the alternate model on the bottom right here. But I don't really like that model as much as the original model because the male van, of course, is pretty iconic. And then on the back, it has the standard advertisement of 1980. And I also got the sticker sheet with it. This is the second version of the sticker sheet, and you can see it's completely unused except for the, the eight stickers that are on the train, the four DB stickers here, and then the Wien Zurich stickers for the uh, four options of stickers that you can put on for the cities. And of course, there are a lot of railways here, Finnish railways, um, I think that's Norwegian railways, Swiss railways, Belgian railways, um, that's Dutch, Italian, I think, French, uh, Danish, I don't know what that one is, maybe Swedish. This is, I believe, British Rail and the Austrian Railways. And then, of course, the DB stickers in the train are the German, rail the German Railways. And many of the 12-volt sets were advertised as originally having the DB stickers on. So I got this sticker sheet new, so I decided to put the DB stickers on like probably most people would. And then on the box, I did have to repair a little, a little bit with tape. And you can see how it's actually angled here. So the lid can easier, gets so the lid can pretty easily just slide over that end. And then on the back, there's some advertisements of the child building the set and the set in actions. And then this is, actually this isn't the same as the B model because there are three windows in the front here and the B model only has two windows in the front, so that's interesting. And then just some more details of the set, the inside and the buffers here. So a little about, about pricing and my opinion on this set. This set can be found on most platforms for about 80 to $100 if it's not important to you to have the box. Maybe you're missing some stickers, maybe missing the instructions, but you'll get a complete mail in for between 80 and $100 in if you want it in better condition, probably with all the stickers, with the instructions, and maybe with the box, you'll be paying between 100, 100 to 130. And then in like very solid condition with the instructions and box, you'll be paying maybe 140 to 150, I think. And then this act this set actually gets quite expensive sealed. I think only, I've seen a couple, only a couple sellers selling it sealed and it's all $500 or more. Um, probably because the set does have some uncommon pieces, such as the red doors, which are not cheap because they're kind of rare. These windows, actually, you wouldn't think these are rare, but these narrow windows here, the set has four of them, uh, were only produced, I think, in a couple of sets. This one, there, I think there are four in 7725, four in 7715, and I don't know what else. So these windows are two to three dollars each, and then, of course, the base plate and the wheels drive the price up as well. I actually got this set for, it was incomplete, but I saw a listing on eBay uh, it w and it was domestic, which was really great. And I actually got it for about $40, including shipping, which is way, way under what I would have paid otherwise on Bricklink or another seller from eBay. And then I got the parts from, I got the missing parts from domestic sellers. So a bunch of these parts are actually not original. Most of them are, but the high percentage of parts are not original, such as you can see, maybe you can see, maybe you can see this red brick here. This is a one by six brick. This is actually the newer color of red. It's a little bit darker. The older reds here, which were produced before 2004, are a more vibrant red. This one is a later version, so you can see it's not original. Um, but again, most of the pieces are. I did have to replace some that were not in great condition, like bite marks and such. Um, and then, but it was, again, it was in mostly complete condition, very good condition, no stickers, but I got the instructions and the box and a mostly complete mail van with all the rare parts for only $40, which is probably the best deal that I found on eBay to this date. And then uh, the parts were ordered from domestic sellers. And then I actually just recently, which is why I've been holding off for a review, I just recently got the sticker sheet. I found it from a domestic seller for $30 new, which, a pretty good deal uh, so I just decided to put the stickers on because even with 
buying a new sticker sheet, I still paid under $100 for this entire set and it has the box. So if I wanted to resell it, I could resell it for $130 or more. But I probably won't because it's a really cool set and it complements the 7750 very well, which I believe that's what it was meant to do. Um, so my personal opinion on this set is that it's a very solid set. Um, it goes better with most trains than the 7819 because it has a more universal color scheme. The red and yellow can't be used on everything. It wouldn't look as good with a 7750, uh, but this can be, you can put it onto the end of any freight train. You can put it as a standalone car or a standalone wagon on any engine. And it can even be used to come in the 7740 as well. So it's a good it's a good wagon. This is actually the first supplemental wagon I've bought. Um, of course, I plan to get more, but this would be a good choice for your first supplemental wagon if you like this design, which I do. I think it's a pretty cool design. It's not too complicated. Um, it's a, it's I wouldn't say it's an overly interesting building experience, but it definitely looks nice and it will look good on the siding or again behind the expensive 7750. So I think that concludes my review of the 7820 mail van. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.